Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, what men need, they need in order to commit to you, to you, to commit to you. <laughs> really quickly before we get started, if you're new to my YouTube channel uh, and you're, um, if, <laughs> if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified of new content. All right. Our topic, what do men need in order to commit to you? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just tell you what they need. They need the desire to want commitment. They need to have that desire to want commitment. They need to have that desire to want to be in a relationship. They need to have that clarity on what it is a relationship looks like for them. They need to have a desire of exploring what partnership looks like for them. So they actually have to have some semblance of awareness on what they want. And I recognize this is a struggle for most of you women because the reality is, is about 80% of men are dating from a perspective of they're running around with their heads cut off like chickens. In other words, they have no fucking clue as to what they want. And look, I get it. It's frustrating. Now, women, I'm going to say you're kind of in the same boat, except the fact is, you know, you want commitment. You know that you want commitment. Most women want commitment because biologically speaking, you are designed to want to be mated with someone else where men are designed to spread their seed. So there is a, a component of difference. Although the reality is, is we both men and women want to feel loved. We want to feel connection. But the fact is, and by the way, ladies here, let me pause for a second. Any one of you that follows my channel, let me tell you something. I have a hard on for unconscious people, whether it's men and women alike. Look, I recognize from a woman's perspective, you're dealing with a lot of dysfunctional men, but let me tell you something, men feel the same way about many of you. So I'm, I'm not here to pick one side or the other. I just happen to be an advocate for women more so because 80% of the population is fucking clueless. Now, ladies, you all think you're not, I get it. But let me tell you something. I get calls all the time that sound something like this. Jonathan, I'm in a relationship with a guy, it's going on six months to a year and I want more commitment. I'm like, great, what does that look like for you? Well, Jonathan, I just want more commitment from him. I'm like, great, what does that look like for you? But Jonathan, I just want more commitment from him. I'm like, great, what does that look like for you? Most of you don't know what it looks like for you. You know, it's interesting. There's a book I'm reading. It's a business book called The Partnership Charter. The Partnerships Charter. How to start out right when you begin a business partnership. Well, the reason why I'm talking about this book is when two people decide to partner with one another, they have a goal in mind. They each have a goal in mind of why they're doing this. Now, this doesn't sound romantic. This doesn't sound very sexy. I get it. I'm, who, what doesn't want to be romanced with flowers and the man opening the car door and paying bills all the time. That sounds really sexy and gr it's great to have sexual passion together, but what's the fucking point if you don't have a plan on what it looks like long term? People are experiencing a lot of short lived relationships, mainly because humans, only 80% of the population want companionship, connection and sex without going the extra mile. So, look at, I get it, it's frustrating. This is one of the reasons why I'm an advocate for my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? And by Jonathan Asley, the link is below to get my book. Actually, there's a link to all the books I recommend below, so check that out. If you haven't seen it, it's called Jonathan Recommends, it's in the links below. Um, I recommend these books, I recommend all these books as an awareness, especially the self-love book, is when you, when you are loving on yourself, it's not so much about landing the guy, it's about landing the relationship with yourself, and that's the relationship matters most. So when you know what you want, then you set the stand, most of you have standards here, actually standards down here. I'm here to say put your standards here and establish this is where you operate from. So let me give you an example for me, and maybe this will help you. Someone asked me, what am I looking for in relationship? I always say, 
In the early stages, I'm looking to spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork, meaning both teamwork in our professional endeavors and our personal develop and personal lives, meaning we actually help each other in our personal and professional lives, and eventually moving towards living together, getting married. I'm very crystal clear. Now, this is only about 10% of the male population. Is that crystal clear for those of us in midlife? Younger men, they're in that, younger men can be in the category of I'm seeking a family, so they're seeking a wife. So someone in their 20s and 30s is oftentimes seeking a wife. They're looking to build a family. They have a plan. In other words, they're seeking a wife. For the midlife folks, if you're not seeking a wife, most people are seeking companionship, connection, and sex without the mechanics of creating a healthy, happy relationship. This is one of the reasons why I'm a big proponent of the book, Eight Dates by John Gottman. This teaches you the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. Why can't people do this? Because people are suffering on the inside. I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable. I'm not likable. This is where the vast majority of the population sits, both men and women alike. And so if you've gone through divorce that can be contentious and very emotionally draining, and then God forbid you've gone through job changes, especially now what's happening in the world, and then you're dealing with elderly parents or you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, you're dealing with menopause, not to mention children. All you know, you all who've been watching me know I lost my 19-year-old son, Connor. Talk about an emotional tornado that I've gone through. And that's just what everybody is going through their own version of an emotional tornado. Compassion is the invitation for all of this. Compassion for yourself and compassion for others. How do you know a man wants to commit to you? He has a plan of what he wants and he's able to express it. And it starts by leading by example. You express what you want and you see if he meets you in the same place. And that's my invitation for you. I was all over the map here today, but I hope you found some value. If you felt like you wanted to talk to a dating relationship coach, schedule a free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. And I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. I'm gonna ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. I hope you found value in this video and remember, this is how a man will commit to you when he knows what he wants. Thank you so much and wishing you a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.